Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I haven't done a video for a very long time. Um, yeah, apologise for that. I've been really busy doing doing other things and getting a new job. Um, but what I've done this year is something I've been wanting to do for a very long time, and that is change my system around to aid me to effectively use water as a battery. So I have a cheap octopus tariff uh, that uh, I get cheaper rate over night time for about four or five hours and I went to experiment loading heating water as a medium uh, with the cheaper tariff via a heat pump or potentially other sources and then letting that battery run my heating system and seeing how long it would run the heating for without any other sources heat pumps or electrical or anything else so I've totally revamped my installation at home. Um, I'm going to spin you around and I'm going to tell you about it. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we have a hot water cylinder. So this is a, a dual 300 litre high gain cylinder. So it's got a high uh, a larger coil than a boiler. We have some components down there. Yes, I know I am connected to my D2. Got some pumps some valves and sensors, expansion vessels. There's my flow and return at the top there. And then um, heat and expansion, three port valve. We've got the eddy that does the hot water diversion. Another pump. And then here, we have a couple of cylinders, reclaimed cylinders. Uh, they're about 220 litres each, so I've got about 450 litres of storage. They're linked together. As you can see, they're linked together by a reverse return setup there. Uh, I'm not actually using the coils at the moment. and I've commoned the hot water outlet there. But it's all actually connected into my heating system. So let me try and uh, give you an idea of what's going on. So I've got my flow and return coming in at the bottom here with the heat meter. So the heat meter's on the return. I've got some dry pocket sensors in the back there, flow and return. Uh, I've got a valve there, we'll come to that later. Uh, I've got a main circulating pump and then a th regular three port. So the flow comes in through that pump into the three port. It then either goes to the heating or the hot water. So the hot water part is quite simple. Goes around the coil, back to the heat pump, the job's done. I control it via the sensors and home assistant. But on the, uh, I'm just gonna move the camera a little bit so it's easier to hold. Uh, so on the heating side here we have, uh, this is always closed on a, on a heat pump type setup with a three port the ports always closed it's always an open side to the heating but on the heating I've got another three port so this port down here is closed it goes up through another valve this port here is closed and then it goes up into my heating circuit at the top there so that's normal heating operation that's also controlled by home system so how do I get the heat into the store? Well, um, through a process of home assistant automations and I can bring in data, weather data, uh, um, energy APIs and that sort of thing. Once the thresholds or the circumstances are right for loading the store, this port shuts heat pump comes on this port shuts and then it comes down down the pipe 
into the into the store back out at the top through this valve here at the top back into the return which actually goes back down to the cylinder it doesn't actually when i'm loading the store it doesn't actually um, go into the heating system and that's because that's because this port here is closed so i can load the store at night with the heat pump or electric i can i can do the eddy i can put the eddy onto it i've got two immersions in series now for the eddy that doesn't see it as six kilowatts um he actually sees it as, as about one and a half kilowatts each so um uh yeah so the eddy just goes into like one and a half kilowatts of load um that's not not a big problem so now i've loaded the store what i can actually do is in the morning i can actually run the heating from the store so uh with an automation from home assistant uh, I now control this valve and shut this port this pump starts to run this port moves over and shuts that so now I've got the flow coming out there through a TMV through the pump through this three port valve and into the heat and flow and then it comes down the return all the way down the return and this valve here opens and allows the return to go straight through or come come through the magna filter come straight through and then back into the cylinder or the store so I can run early uh, early tests. I can run the system at about 32 degree flow temperature for about two hours. So I haven't actually crunched the numbers in how much that would save me. I need to work out. Uh, I'm still playing with the system. So what I've got is I've got a, a heat pump that can uh, obviously heat the hot water as normal. I've got a heat pump that can heat the heating system as normal. Then the heat pump can just heat the store. And finally, the store can run the heating. So that's what I've got set up at the moment. Thanks for watching.